and welcome to the Slippy Limpets video. We are out on the rocks as you can see, um, but we're not fishing for pollock. We are fishing or wrasse. We're fishing for bass, which is a bit unusual in such a deep water mark for us. But, um, and I say us because we've got Lewis over there, aka um, Coastal Luren on Instagram with a K. We're trying out this, uh, this rock mark where I caught a 14 pounder from the kayak pretty close to it so thinking we might be able to get on some bass and hopefully recatch that big one never know but it'd be nice to get it from the shore not just the kayak so uh yeah we walked a little way scrambled down nice nettle filled gully ouch and uh we're chucking some fish lures around fish minnow fish crazy eel uh because that's what the big one took the last time so Gonna keep going. You can see some bait fish in front of us. Fish is just nosed out. I took this pack. It's such shallow water. First cast of the morning. Just move further out. Oh, place is alive though. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Oh, see that? No. <laughs> right, okay. Uh. Story's a good choice on a day like this, like. Only had me little fish eel 100 or a fly rod. Oh, look at them! Oh, the place is alive. There's a swan in the water over there. Oh, oh. that's very close. Oh, oh, do you see it? Must be a mullet. No, no. They've been finicky, have them. Just there. I'm gonna try a straight retrieve. I'm gonna rescue me cup as much as it pains us to leave this. This is hooked up. Play a little in. Taking on the story. Taking that range. Thought that was gonna do the business, but I'm not interested. So I'm gonna try the baby kimono. Oh, fish just rose behind my lure there. Just as a oh, go on, come again. Oh, yes, <laughs> hey, finally, first of the morning. Oh, that's coming into the shore. a little one but he's it's a spirited fighter hmm. this one might have been caught before oh it's just released himself there it goes
Oh. 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 I launched at it. So I'd waited out for miles and then cast for miles and then the battery on the GoPro ran out. So I've just walked back. You can see the uh, the black of the spool. That's how far my light lure is. Yeah, don't think I'm going to get anything. It's unfortunate last time I did that. <laughs> Had a massive hit. Oh, that's better. Fed watered and a stone lighter. Yon! Yo, Bassi! No. It is? Yes, get in. I've got you on film, mate. Don't have to land it. Chunky, that. Nice. Were you ripping it then? Yeah. Blue fins is all fired up. Go on, son, off you go. And I'm just way under the rock. <laughs> that was like a pollock. Looks like the same one, mate. <laughs> that hit right on the end of this point. Feels a bit weird, we should be pollock fishing, yet we're catching bass. Me a little fella. We've been fishing for a little while now and uh, Lewis has had a follow on a quite a big fish on a uh, crazy eel uh, and then he had a reasonable schoolie and I've had one schoolie on a 
the cocky fish minnow, the pod's not too bad. Just need to increase the size. This is into the fish. A bit bigger? Uh, maybe a wee bit. I had two mates falling on. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I was busy talking to the camera. Were these mates bigger? Ah, oh, same size. Same size. Oh, it looks a bit bigger. Want to measure him? Yeah. You want to measure? Well, we've had nothing more, so uh, I think we are going to do the long trek back to the car and find somewhere else to fish. Ooh, ooh that was close. Nearly had no nuts left. Oh, God, it's scorching. So we're at the next location, 45 minute drive later. And totally different ground. Uh, we've been, because it's so sunny and warm, we've been looking for cover. A lot of uh, weed and things, so that's why I've chosen nuts. This spot and it means the sun is shining in our face. So we think if the sun's behind the fish, looking at the lures, then hopefully it means that we should uh, hook up a bit more. There was no 14 pounder at the last place, so it was definitely time for a move. Should have maybe warm my waders, but I couldn't bear it because it's so bloody hot with the walk. But I forget wet feet will dry. Gotta admit though, the ground looks awesome. Although I am short on lures, I left my lure box in a car park yesterday. And by the time I realised and got back to the car park, my lure box was gone. With uh, a lot of money's worth of lures in there unfortunately so I did still have my bag of soft plastics and Lewis has kindly lent me a patch Tackle wise I'm using a 9 foot <coughs> medium light rod uh, which is rated as 7 to 24 grams I've got my uh, ever present Daiwa BG mag sealed with the uh, <laughs> ever present uh, Tazlan Elite braid, a 12 pound braiding strain, 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, and uh, I'm busy chucking, as I said before, the patch 125. So I'd said I'd lost my uh, lure box, but I was fishing the Pembrokeshire. Bass fishing tournament a few days ago. Tom, who from tclures.co.uk, actually won the comp amazingly for a non local when he knew that I'd lost all my lures in lure box. He donated his this IMA double sided box with a Kimono 110, which was just amazing of him. Oh, and some uh, Gino lures as well. But uh, what a guy. Thanks Tom. Nice wee beautiful bass for Lewis there, uh, taking on the big patch. Lewis is going to win the UK BLF uh, Autumn Tournament this year again. No, uh, 50 centimetres I want.
down a hit. Had two hits on this. After it took the first time, just slurped down and the uh, the lure tangled around my weed and uh, the line, and then it just didn't didn't come back. And then after a few more minutes, it tail slapped just behind the lure. So let's go and get it. Unfortunately for me, I have to head home. Lewis has gone off to another mark after slaying the fish here. Um, I didn't catch any fish at this mark, but they were blatantly here. Uh, I'm not going to make excuses, but by the time I got the camera set up, he had actually uh, <laughs> caught a fish. No, he just did really well. And uh, yeah, we had, uh, I think, seven fish or eight fish between us today. So not too bad. No monsters, not like last night where I got a, a 71, I think, and uh, and a few others as well, a 60 and a 50 something or another. But uh, unfortunately, there was no footage of those because um, well, I just can't film in the dark for uh, bass. As soon as you put a light on, you're not going to catch anything. This is actually the last day of a five day bass fishing epic that we've been on. Uh, we've competed in the Pembroke uh, bass, uh, bass tournament which uh, Tom who had to leave last night he actually won it which is unbelievable for a, a visiting angler who has never been to the area before especially as somewhere the size of Pembroke I think there's like 82 beaches and 190 miles of coastline probably wrong with the coastline and beach count but you get my point there's a lot I managed to get a 62 which unfortunately didn't win the visitors section, um, but there was only eight, yeah, eight fish over 60. And uh, I think about 47 fish caught between 127, uh, 120 odd anglers. And I think only 27 anglers caught. So we're all really happy with, with how that went. I think I've driven over a thousand miles in these five days, slept in the car every night. so pretty knacked and now I've just got another well, four or five hours to drive home uh, and then to work tomorrow after dumping this footage of course but um, really hope you like the video don't forget to check out Lewis's Instagram which is uh, Coastal Luren I'll leave the, the handle down below and check out T Tom's Lures from tclures.co.uk he makes some awesome needle fish, including uh, one with a magnetic weight shift and the footage you've seen of a bass taking a top water from the drone is on Tom's new um, top water bait called a zip wake, which is actually still in development at the moment, but obviously it works. And uh, Tom actually also makes the Mark Cowlin needle fish, which as most bass, bass anglers know is a, is a legendary needle fish. So uh, they've got some pedigree in those lures. Thank you very much for watching. For uh, any comments that you leave, I'll get back to you as soon as, you, as I can. Uh, I try to reply to all comments, but sometimes I'm away like this and it's, it's hard, so there's a delay, but I will, I will come back to you. And uh, yeah, tight lines until the next one.